um, easier, and that is the PPP mandate. But on the other hand, I think Bibi would be proud today because a lot of the things she believed in so much, like the NFC award, like Aghaz uh, Hukuk e Balochistan, um, and like Gilgit Baltistan, which Mr. Bhutto started off with, and today um, you have a functioning um, democracy there. And, um, you know, we still have another two and a half years to go. And I hope if we're I sitting hope you here. Have two and a half years to go. I'll just uh, ask you one last question, your personal question. You know, you came to Pakistan just recently in the last two years, and you're living here in the Parliament Lodges away from three your husband. Three, three years ago. Years. Uh, yeah. You're living here in the Parliament Lodges away from your husband. Are you here to stay on in politics, or do you miss the United States, or you miss your husband? How is it going oh. to be personally for oh. you, this journey? How, where is it going to end? When I was sent here, it was for three months, three years ago. And at that time, we had no idea that I was going to get an m and ticket and uh, my husband would definitely be in the United States. Mm -hmm. um, we both of us feel that we have to complete our commitment to Ms. Bhutto, her vision, her family, and the party in Pakistan. Um, it's very, very lonely, and it's very, very tough. And um, there are times emotionally, many days, where both of us just say, you know, can't do another day. It's not worth it. Um, because uh, I guess we don't have a conventional marriage in terms of um, we really do enjoy and love the same things. All right, we wish you the best of luck because we realize that there are tough times ahead of you. And thank you so much for joining us on Face Off.